BC Museum is home to a large collection of totem poles from Indigenous communities along the West Coast. Many of the older, more fragile carvings are kept inside, though several towering totems are on display outside in Thunderbird Park. Many are intricate copies carved by renowned Indigenous artist Mungo Martin. But now, after 80 years in the elements, they need some TLC. On This Week in History, meet one of the restorers with a direct link to Mungo himself. This is a pole I did in 1979, and I'm repainting it. My dad came down here in the 50s when I was actually two years old to um, carve with Mungo Martin, who was quite old at the time. Mungo passed away in 62, my dad took over, Henry Hunt took over. Um, I became my dad's assistant. That basically the day I got hired, he quit because he promised Mungo that there'd always be one of us here. It was the first pole that I did without asking my dad for help. So it took me about three months. But the top figure is a Kulus, or immature Thunderbird. My brother's the head of our family, he's a Thunderbird. The copper has a bear design in it, so the copper symbolizes wealth. And it's the Kwagyuk style, but you know, basically it's what my father taught me. He never, he never sat you down at a blackboard. You watched him, that's how you learned. You know, I always thought of myself as a working exhibit because I'm in front of the public eye all day. You know, you all over teaching people. I don't like bragging, but I got the Order of Canada and the Order of British Columbia for it. And they said, I've done all this with very little remuneration. I had a great time doing all that. And my buddy was just here. When we first carved it, he was watching me. He said, man, you should immortalize me. And I said, what? He says, chop that finger off, because when he was a kid, he was playing games with his friends to see how close they could get with an ax. And they got too close on him. We're going to make the mustache a little white, then the eyebrows white, because we're both uh, got white hair now. It's 42 years later. It was at the front of the museum when we first dedicated it. And then they moved it because the museum expanded. So they moved it into the courtyard over here. And now they're going to put it in the park. All well, because my dad's stuff's here, Mungu's stuff's here, my brother's stuff's here. Yeah, well, I always wanted it to be in here with them. It makes me feel good. This Week in History, brought to you by the Royal BC Museum, bringing British Columbia stories together.